Good evening, everybody, and welcome to your Monday night Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment Live show with your host, with the most, but no toast, Nikita. It's your boy. Um, starting this week and from now on, my days have changed. Typically, I am a Tuesday, Thursday night streamer, but with Nate coming onto the team doing full time streaming, my days have changed. So now I'm going to be doing Monday, Tuesday. So you, you always get to to start your week off with your boy, Nikita. <laughs> uh, what's up, Candy? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Um, we've got a lot of cool uh, products for you guys today. A lot of cool gift ideas. Uh, you know, whether it's going to be for the upcoming Father's Day or just a gift to surprise someone, uh, you can find something here tonight at the show that's going to be good for all occasions, essentially. So... Uh, also, uh, Justin, uh, included a Star Wars product for me in the show. So, you know, I, 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 I'm always happy to do that. Uh, before we get started, I got a couple of things to share. You know, you know, I got to talk to y'all a little bit before I get my start. Uh, first off, I got this really cool new candle. Um, I have it lit here. Um, and I make sure I keep it away from my computer screens because I don't want the heat to affect it. But it's got this really cool flavor. It's rose marshmallow. And it smells really good. I actually really do enjoy it. Um, this is a hunting Huntington Home brand, which I believe is like the Aldi brand, if I'm not mistaken. But they smell amazing. Um, and I, I just, I really, you know, you know, y'all know I like my smell goods with my essential oils and stuff. So I thought I'd share that I had that really cool candle. Also... I'm happy because Justin hooked me up with some really cool like water filtering products this like recently, these past two weeks. And so I hooked up, I got one for the under sink that I haven't installed yet. And then I got one that I installed to my new fridge that we just bought. And so basically like my fridge already has a filter on it, but this is like an additional filter. And y'all know I'm always hydrate or dihydrate, right? I'm always drinking water. Uh, speaking of which, hydrate or dihydrate, everyone. Everyone knows that when you're at a Nikita show, you got to get your water bottle with you and stay hydrated. But no, because of that, so like now that I'll have like my sink water and my refrigerator water both ran through like these really nice water filters, I no longer have to buy bottled water. Now, now of course, like bottled water to drink regularly. Like I always buy bottled water living in Texas because uh, especially during hurricane season, you know, you just want to be prepared in case your power and the water, whatever goes out. But like for the most part, I don't have to buy bottled water to drink all the time anymore. And I love that because Port Arthur already has really good tap water compared to Houston where I moved from. And now that I have the double filtering for each of my water systems, it's just like that much better. Also, what's up, Evans? Welcome to the stream. I'm just running my mouth in the beginning, so my apologies for that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Got a nice new candle that smells good, and I got some fresh water as always. Hydrate or dihydrate. Before I get into the actual products tonight, just going to reiterate some current giveaways that we have going on. Uh, first up, we have the... Oh, what's up, Donna? Welcome to the stream. Uh, first up... We have, uh, you can enter for a chance to win, I'm going to post a link, for a chance to win a diamond pendant from Mrs. Dragon Blogger, uh, her personal collection, Mishona. Um, and the winner will be drawn live on stream on on uh, Father's Day on June 19th. Um, so make sure you're, you're there because you got you to gotta be present to win. Um, and that's www.dragonblogger.com slash win pendant, one word, W-I-N-P-E-N-D-A-N-T. Um, there is also a chance to win a Eufy security video doorbell, which I actually have this product and I will say it's absolutely amazing. Uh, highly recommend it, especially if you want to upgrade the, your home security. Um, there's a chance to win that. Um, and that one ends July 2nd. So y'all got a little less than a month, about, about three and a half weeks to enter that one. Um, and that's www.dragonblogger.com slash win Eufy. Uh, W-I-N-E-U-F-Y. And then the last one, uh, which ends a week after the Eufy giveaway, um, is a chance to win the Elegoo Neptune 2S 3D printer um, with a two-pack of, of the 3D filament, too. Um, and uh, that, like I said, that ends Ju July 9th. Sorry, not June. July 9th. Um, and that is at www.dragonblogger.com slash Win 3D printer, one word, W-I-N-3-D-P-R-I-N-T-E-R. 
So that's our little giveaways and my little announcements for the start of the show. I hope you all caught that. Don't don't worry if you, you missed it. Um, I will be doing it a couple more times during the show. So just be ready for that. Before we get into it, one more time, hydrate or digest, everyone. Make sure you got your water bottles with you because we got a lot of products to go through tonight and I'm excited to get into them. So first up, I got this really cool cooler. This is one of my products, actually. Got this really cool cooler. And um, I go outside. I do a lot of outside stuff, especially with, like, moving to uh, Port Arthur. Um, you know, it being, like, a fishing town. Well, not a fishing town, but it's, like, a port town. So I'm really close to the seawall. And so having a cooler like this for going to the seawall and doing stuff with, like, my RC boats and, like, fishing and that kind of stuff, you know, going out, bringing OB to like the seawall. A uh, product like this is actually super amazing. Um, I was really impressed. I've had a lot of coolers in my life, but this cooler was actually super, like super nice, super good. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to pull it up, but basically just know that this is one of the best insulated coolers that I have ever had. Um, it's, it's a soft cooler too. Um, it's not like a hard one, um, that has, that's made out of like that, that really like hollow kind of plastic stuff. Um, it's really good. So I'm going to pull up the video and let y'all see, and then just kind of comment on it as we go through it and let us begin our first product for the night, y'all. So this is my DeRus cooler. I absolutely love this thing. All right, just know that I was just, I was a little sick doing this one, so forgive me for how I sound. <laughs> it's basically a soft cooler bag that's lightweight, leak proof, portable, and very well insulated. As you can see here, it has a very nice feel to it. I love the material, it's kind of rugged. It also comes with these nice straps that are in the front and the back that you can put together and they'll Velcro together and you can separate them as you see fit. But it also comes with this nice strap that's on the side that you just simply clip on. It's not hard at all. Literally, you just snap it on each side and you're good to go. Now, what I love about this thing is the fact that it is um, airtight, it's leak proof and waterproof. So no matter so yeah, so that's one of the big selling points about this. It's airtight and you'll see there's like a little like plastic wedge and it wedges into itself and then the zipper is like super tight. Like it's actually super resistant when you're pulling it on. And because of that, it does come with like this zipper grease that you can put on in case it does get too, um, the, 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 the tension is too hard. Cause it, it does take a lot of for Like you got to pull that zipper around and, and you'll see. Um, but that's what I love about it. It's, it's, it's airtight it's leak proof and it's waterproof. So the stuff inside won't come out. And if for some reason you dropped it into the water, the water surrounding it won't go in. And that's the one thing that I love about this. No matter what you put inside, um, you know, you know it's protected um, from leaking out from the inside out. Or if it's submerged in water for some reason, nothing from the outside will come in. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to grab the zipper and open it up so that you can kind of see what it looks like on the Wait, James, you eat salad? Why are you eating the food that my food eats? I, I, I'll, I'll eat a salad occasionally, but I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy. On the inside, I have a couple of things in here, some cans of bubble tea. All right, now, I'm gonna need y'all to not judge me. I understand that having cans of bubble tea and two liters of apple juice is not typically what people would put in a cooler, but I'm a little different, okay? I'm built different, so no judging. And then some apple juice and a little bit of ice. And they got chilled so fast. Um, the Daru soft cooler, uh, basic. So like, if you look, you see how where my hand is right now? There's a little plastic ridge around. And that's what the top part fits into to create that airtight seal. And you'll see it when, I, when I'm coming up on keeps everything now. in cold storage for about 72 hours. Now, if you look here, you see this rim. That so, hold on, let me get it, if I can get it right. Right there at the top, it's like a little plastic, and it fits right into that alcove, essentially. And that's what creates the airtight seal. this rim that's on the top where the or around it where the top fits perfectly in. As you can see, it kind of has this little um, padding. Uh, and this is what creates the airtight seal when you zip it. And when you zip it, you're gonna notice that the zipper has a lot of pressure that goes around just to ensure that the seal is airtight. So if you're looking for an awesome cooler that's going to last all day and even more than a day and keep your stuff super cool, definitely check out the De Roos, uh cooler. It's absolutely amazing. And I know it's going to basically fulfill all of your needs. It really is an amazing cooler, honestly. It's, it, it, and you know, uh, if you, it, like, especially with Father's Day coming up, if 
your father or a father or someone you plan on giving a gift to on Father's Day, or even if it's not for Father's Day and you plan on giving someone who you know loves fishing, doing outside activities, whether that outside activity is a, a tailgate, a sporting event, or like going fishing, going to a picnic or something, this is this this is perfect for them, perfect for that. It's a really great cooler. I really do enjoy it. Um, and I would highly recommend it to anyone looking for a gift for Father's Day too. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. It's a goodie. It's a goodie, I promise you. Next up, we got a product here covered by, I believe this one is covered by Merle. It's the Wild Wind Tire Inflator. I'm gonna go ahead and get that video pulled up. It's really cool inflator. Um, and you know, I, I actually uh, would like something like this, especially since, you know, I don't bike as much as I used to and I really should because biking is an activity that I've always enjoyed, but I believe he demonstrates it on a bike. So, um, you know, that's one thing that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get this shifted over and let's watch it as one big happy dragon blogger family. Today we have a Wildwind portable air compressor. And by portable, they absolutely mean portable. This thing James James likes salad with his food. That that's it. He doesn't it's like me. Like whenever I, I, I like salad with my dressing, you know, like cause I drown my salad in ranch or French dressing. I love a little bit of salad with my dressing. And that's, that's basically how I am. James is the same way. He likes a little bit of salad with his Doritos and turkey and ham. <laughs> thing is a chunky 2000 milliamp battery. And it's also an air compressor. And you, this is your standard like, bicycle or car tire connection. For your other needs, it does include several different nozzle types, depending upon what your needs are. James, what is your favorite type of chip? To micro charger. You can plug in from here and charge. And then from there, you can actually, I'm uh, sorry, this is to charge another device this is to charge the battery here itself. It does come on, come with a light. Wait, candy salad on top of rice? And an LCD really? Display. This is a little bit dim, so I'm filming here. It was a little bit, you know, in the shade. But when I'm gonna take this out to work on my uh, bicycle, you won't be able to see this. Display. I don't think I've ever had something like that before. Maybe in like a burrito bowl or a taco bowl. Taco bowl. Taco bowl. I have a motorbike or bicycle and I know my bicycle is going to be at 50 PSI. Wait, dill pickle chips? I don't think I've ever had those. That sounds really good. All right, so taking this out for the first time out of this winter. Let's go ahead and get this hooked up. I might have to try that, honestly, because I love white rice and I love salad. I don't know if I like them together, but I'll try it. So it screws on. And All right, we'll so he's got it screwed on. Current pressure. All right, so that was 15% to 50% in about three-ish or so minutes. So not the fastest in the world, but if you're in a pinch, the portability just cannot be beaten. And the fact that it acts as a battery backup as well to recharge any kind of devices. It's a great kit to just kind of throw in the back of the car and forget about. Shout out to Dragon Blogger Merle for uh, for covering this product. Yeah, that's one thing that's cool that I like about it. Like he said, it wasn't super fast and it wasn't super, um, you know, like it didn't, you know, pump up his his air tire too fast. It went from fifteen percent to fifty percent in, um, he said, about three minutes. But you do get a lot of uh, utility essentially out of it from using it um, from how portable it is. Being able to use it to charge your other devices and just the fact that, you know, it may not be fast, but it gets the job done. So it's reliable. And that's something that, you know, when you're when you're in a situation like where you need that, um, it's it's just it's a godsend, too. And not only that, but based on like the fact that it can fit on. He said it has a very generalized uh, screw on. So if you had to, you could also use it to like inflate like a soccer or a basketball, too, if you have the little tip that goes in and you can use it for a lot of inflating a lot of other stuff. So you get the portability, the battery charging um, 
out of it and the reliability. And so it just makes it, um, you know, a good product. Oh, look who showed up. It's Mr. Justin. What's up, Justin? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here, Mr. Boss Man. Um, but yeah, so um, that was the tire inflator that was covered by Merle. Next up, we got we we got our first James product of the night. James here. Um, he's I've actually covered this one before. This is the Intercean uh, small little OLED. Um, okay, I say OLED. They say OLED. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stick with OLED because I just think it's easier. Um, but uh, James covered this one and he plays a, a racing game on it to kind of show it off. Now, uh, after seeing James play a racing game for a little bit, I just know that I will never get in a car with James because if he drives anything like he plays video games and my life will definitely be in danger, <laughs> but, uh, it's a really nice little portable monitor. Um, he struck, uh, Justin made the best comment about this. He, I forget the exact wording that he said, but he was like, every every portable monitor comes with a, a puzzle included and it's so funny like i'm not gonna explain any further but when you see the video you'll know exactly what he's talking about because james struggles to get the stand up for a little bit there and it's just it's one of those it's one of those james being james things it's 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 hilarious because he's trying his best and he gets it eventually, but it takes him a little bit. So let's go ahead and pull that video up and watch it together. <laughs> I'm not making fun of you, James. Okay, I, I kind of am, but it's with love. I promise you. <laughs> James here. Today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Anosium. This is their 15.6 inch portable monitor. Now this is an OLED. So we're just going to skip just a little bit through um, to where the part where he takes it out and kind of shows you some of the stuff. Now, I will say, just in case I, I skip too far and I miss it, it does come with a HDMI to mini HDMI cable. It comes with the power brick converter that you need to plug it in. It also comes with two USB-C cords um, and it comes with the monitor and a, like a little case, or not a little case, but like a little border for the monitor itself too. Um, well, I guess it is kind of a case uh, and it's, it's what has the stand on it too. Now I was shocked at how thin this monitor is, but it like the bezel is almost non-existent, but it looks absolutely amazing. And the quality that he gets out of it is, 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 is unmatched. You have, I believe this will be your volume up and down. The other side will actually have your speakers, which is just right here, guys. Just a simple little small speaker. Then we have the product itself. Let's actually peel this. Wow. I was not expecting that to snap like that. And I can already say I'm quite impressed with this, guys, but it does have a large bezel down at the bottom. Uh, not, you know, it's just a bezel, though. I loved it bezel-less. That would have been cool. It actually would have made this bigger, but not bad. So on top here, here's actually... See, this is where me and James differ in opinions. I don't think the bezel is that big, but I guess it is rel... I guess it's big relatively compared to the size of the monitor. So that does make sense. Actually, your power button right there, and that is on the same side with your volume up and down and your menu controls, which is nice. Actually, we'll spin this over, let you guys see the back. Nicely done. Not bad color. All right, let's get to the funny part, guys. I won't keep you waiting too long, I promise. Wait, wait for it. Oh, here we go. Let's do this backwards. Wait, wait, let me go back this, just a little bit just more. This out. All right, here we go. Get your popcorn. I'm not really sure how this folds like that, though. Like that. So let me show you guys this. So, so here's the So he, he got it initially. Like, he got it there. Now watch. Backside. Hopefully you guys can see this. You fold this up just like this, just like this. You actually pull this around and it actually folds and flaps down. That's a little tricky, guys. I just had this, but I don't want to break this. So you can actually kind of do it that way, too. So. I got it. <laughs> stand, right? You know, this is how I know James is a better man than I am because he sat there and he struggled through it. I would have stopped that video, figured out how to do it, went back and edited it back in to where it looked like I, I knew what I was doing from the get go. James was like, you know, I'm not, I don't care. I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to figure this out together. <laughs> hold your, hold the screen up. Nice little stand. 
actually like that. Now, I'm gonna grab something, we're gonna power this up, and we're gonna show you guys this monitor in action. Okay guys, now we have the NLC in. All right, so now he's got it set up. As you can see, for a 15.6 a inch screen, 1080p, you get the 60 hertz out of it too, or 60 FPS. Um, and it looks absolutely amazing. The colors are stunning. Now, know that what we see is not is not going to be like the actual true quality because you know we are seeing it secondhand. We're seeing a recording of it and not it itself. So, um, it, you know, it's not going to be true quality. But you can tell that it's high quality just from watching this video. And like I said, I would never get in a car with James after watching his video game driving because he literally goes through the trees. But it does this video game justice. It makes it look really smooth. I'm skipping just a little bit ahead so we can get to, get to see the part where he's actually driving. But it's absolutely fantastic, clear, and you know this is an amazing portable monitor. All right, here we go. You know what? Let's go into the city, right? You guys want to see some colorations? Right through the trees. Drive through some trees. <laughs> So, I mean, like, basically, you know what you're getting. It's it's a really good, um, a, a really great product. And right now, in addition um, to, I believe it's on a lightning deal right now. Yeah, it is. It's on lightning deal. You save about 30% on it um, if you want to check it out, too. It's really good. Um, again, it's the Inocean, uh OLED portable monitor. It is uh, full HD, so 1080p. You do get 60 FPS. It comes with that. I, I think it's cool that it comes with the mini HDMI to HDMI um, cord because that that's something that you don't have to purchase uh, third, not third hand. Um, you know, you don't have to purchase. Um, you know, separately, third party, rather. That's what I meant to say, not third hand. Um, and it is, uh, you get one millisecond response time. So it, it, it competes with a lot of like typical gaming monitors too. Uh, so it's just something to, it's really good to have on hand if you want to have a portable monitor go around with you. If you want to plug it to like a switch or something, or, uh, you know, take, take it to like someone's house um, to play video games on a monitor in a different room, you know, it, it's just, it has a lot of versatility and uses that you can do with it. Um, and so it's just a, it's just a really good pickup, especially, like I said, it's on lightning deal. So definitely worth checking out at a hundred dollars off. I would 100% want to invest in that. But, uh, that is again, the NOCN 15.6 inch OLED monitor, portable monitor. Moving on to our next product is another James here product. Uh, he's going to be covering the Donner Portable Karaoke Machine with Disco Ball. Uh, James gets all the cool portable pro portable products. Um, I I haven't seen this video yet. I sure hope he doesn't sing, but I also sure hope he does. You know, does that make sense? I sure hope it does. <laughs> but uh, a, a really nice um, portable karaoke machine, honestly. Uh, I love the colors. I love anything anything that, that has colors, RGB, anything like that. I'm always going to like because, you know, pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny. No singing, James? Come on, man. Re you got to redo this video. You got to sing for us. We got to hear that beautiful voice, that beautiful tenor sounding voice you have. James here. And today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Donner. This is their karaoke machine, sound machine. Uh, Bluetooth speaker all in one guys. This is uh, comes with two microphones a couple sets of LED lights plus Oh, it comes with two microphones. You know what that means you guys can do some couples karaoke That always sounds fun. Plus it has like a starry night or disco light effect on this Now I'm gonna pop this open and show you guys a few things But we're gonna talk about it does have 15 watts of RMS power Which is actually pretty decent for a speaker setup like this now the model number is James, okay, I have a question. What does 15, what does RMS mean? Cause like my speaker has RM, like I'm looking at it right now. It says RMS 220 watts. And you said this one is RMS 15 watts. I don't know what RMS means. Do you know? Is the DKM is for your auxiliary um, plug-in or USB. So it does have USB for your phones. So you can play music through this. Now on the front guys, or this side you have the speaker. The speaker does, I believe, um, 
is a three and a half inch speaker with 15 watts of RMS with the 90 degree firing angle, so it should come Low out rated in a certain angle. Okay. Now on this side is where you'll have your mic volumes. Um, <laughs> here you'll have your echo, your mic volume, you'll have your play, pause, skip, forward, sound effects, oh, man, voice effects. Oh, it's Rachel. Life. Hi, Miss Rachel. How you doing? This is my, I think this is my first time of getting to talk to you. I saw your video last time, and James was talking about you and, like, your beautician degree and everything. So I'm happy that you're here. Thank you for showing up. Scene effects. Now, oh, we have one of your products tonight, too. Uh, the Rose Spa Lux Teak Set. I also have that one, too. I love it. Guys, give me a second. We'll plug this in, and we'll talk a little more about this. Okay, now that we have, it, actually, the device plugged in, and I'm going to try not to trip on this extension cord. <laughs> we have the remote control, guys, right? We need to. We can start hitting this, but we have to turn the power on. So i got to come back here and hit the power button. Power on. And you guys hear it? Oh, Bluetooth it mode. tells you. Bluetooth mode. Very cool that that comes on. But let's do the lighting effects. Oh, yes. See if the remote's actually working. I guess maybe we have to be up in front of it. Or maybe the battery it's is dead. It's me. <laughs> so it kind of looks like... No, but I love, I love that rose set. I have the rose and the lavender one. I kind of want to try the Tahiti one that you did too. We have double effects. Then if you look on this side, the speaker lights up. We have different effects with the speakers. Now I have lights all around me. I'm gonna start shutting some lights down just a little bit. Hopefully you guys can start seeing some of the lighting effect. I know it's still super bright. And dark, oh, that's so cool. Hopefully you guys are seeing the effects on the walls back here. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Now we'll hit the lighting effect again, right? Changes it again. Different patterns. That's actually cool, the swirling pattern. So simple, easy. We're going to leave it there. We're going to grab one of these microphones. We're going to plug one of them in. Once we're in, we'll turn it on and hopefully it'll start working. But then lighting shut down, of course, guys. Not a big deal, but if we turn the lights back on. That's so cool. Here. Now, the mic volume. Come up. Check, check. Up. Mic check. One, and two, one, two. We're going to start hearing the <laughs> microphone working. Now, the cool part about this is there is voice effects. I'm going to turn the microphone down some. Auto tune. Grab a different signal. Robot. <laughs> Yo, that's so cool. <laughs> Where is the you didn't you didn't do the no, I am your father. Come on. Female. Hey, Wayne. Wow, this is just weird. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Oh, what's up, Siren? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Yo, James is having too much fun with this. I'm loving this. This is amazing. So now they have the same voice. And yo, yo, Candy, I had that same I thought. I cannot sing worth. I was thinking. I was like, what if you hit this in someone, like under someone's bed, and just in the middle of the night, you just start talking, and someone thinks there's a demon under their bed. Sound effects right there, guys. Now let's change the voice. DJ Killer JJJJJ in the house. <laughs> so as you guys can see, this is a really awesome little port portable karaoke machine to have. It has all those cool features that you get with the mic. Not only that, but it comes with the part that I think is the coolest, is that it has all of those those lights, the lighting effects in the front that you can change and kind of, you know, alter a little bit. And not only that, but the lighting effects. Now, I know we couldn't see it too well because it was still kind of like daylight um, where, when James was recording it, but... Uh, I mean, you, you could tell when he turned off the lights that it would make any room pop, you know, when the lights are off or like if you're having like a late night karaoke session, absolutely amazing and undefeated in quality. I absolutely love the fact that it had those voice modulation effects too, because I'm a prankster. 
I'm finna get someone with that. I'm I'm just I'm finna scare someone with that. Uh but yeah, Evans, you're right. I definitely need one of those for sure. Um but that I I I that that's really cool. I love those effects. That was absolutely amazing. Uh, and you know what? For just a little bit over a hundred bucks, that's actually a really good deal for a nice little karaoke machine because it's not just the, the machine itself that's high quality. It's those memories that you're going to create with the people that you're doing karaoke with, whether it's your friends, your family, or you know you're just doing it by yourself to entertain yourself. I think that it's definitely an investment worth it, especially if you're going to be looking into something like that. Um, so yeah, definitely check out that. That's again, the Donner portable karaoke machine. Next up, we got, uh, another good old James product. Uh, and uh, of course this is one of our, this is one of our like super trusted, like everyone, every dragon blogger who gets one of these products, uh, absolutely loves them. There's no such thing as a bad product from Govi. Y'all know, I always talk about Govi. I hoot and holler about Govi because it's just, absolutely amazing i i love all their products um and this is a really cool one this is the glide triangle light panels um <laughs> i kick james knightley keep it up lady and i will demand lotion on the feet again no don't touch james's feet they look grody <laughs> you know what i didn't know that uh uh james was missing a toenail he told me about the car incident <laughs> I uh, I ended up dropping a sledgehammer on my. It just started growing back, but I'm scared that it's not gonna grow back right now that James told me about his story. So I'm a little scared. But uh, let's go ahead and get into these awesome Govi products because y'all know me. I love Govi. Govi's absolutely amazing, and James is gonna show us their really cool glide triangle light panels. Also, I don't know why, but my Amazon pages have been loading slower than they normally do. Take a quick look at the new product. Today we're taking a quick look, he says, and I look at how long this video is, and it's 12 minutes. 12 minutes is a quick look to James. I would just like to let you guys know that. <laughs> guys, this is from Govi. This is their glide light panels. These are trying. So I love you, James, but I'm just going to have to skip just a little bit. As much as I would love to watch a 12-minute video by you, I just can't do it and still meet my time constraints. <laughs> So we're going to skip just a little bit. Okay, this is a good part. Just slide it in whatever direction you feel fit needs to go in, and you're powered up. Then you grab your adapter, which is over here, guys, and then you follow the on-screen uh, directions of which way it should go. So probably, let's... So James, just since you're here, <laughs> it could be 30 minutes. Yeah, you're not wrong. Just since you're here, if you had to rate the difficulty on installing this from one to 10, what would you rate it? And if you uh, had to give a time estimate about how long it took to set up, what would your time estimation be? Say like that, and then the power goes out. Very easy, very simple to connect. If you don't like it, this thing pops off. Just like that off the wall, you pull it off, the panel comes off and you're good to go. You have 10 of these panels. I will actually grab all of these panels out, which is kind of cool because they do space them out, right? They put paper between them all. So I like that it does come with 10 individual panels and you can kind of arrange them in, in the in the pattern that you want to. There's not like a set uh, a set pattern you have to do them in. Let's see, not hard, just pre-plan is most I can suggest and maybe 30 minutes or less. So, okay, so it's not that hard, but you know, you need to go into it having an idea of what you want and then make sure that you have the space for it. And then he said it takes about, like once you have that set up, it takes a little less than 30 minutes. So they also have a 14 panel one. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and and I already know Goji, Goji, Govi RGBIC lights are absolutely amazing. So also don't forget, he's probably going to say the same thing. Um, the app, always get the Govi app because everything that you can do with the Govi app is just absolutely amazing and it makes the product that much better. Now we're gonna go next. And now you guys see we have two panels lit up. Now we would need to connect up the panel, uh, this panel to the next panel, which should be rather simple coming over here just like this right guys you connect it into the hot panel just like this and boom we have a good to go lit up and you would repeat the process now it will walk you through where to connect it up like one goes to Yep, yep. whether it's Govi or Eufy, you'll see the product Rimfo, they all got all got really good apps to go with their products and you always want to get their apps two or one goes to one 
one goes to two, one goes to two, or one goes to one, then one goes to two, two. It sure Skip just a little bit more. That, but fortunately, I don't there think we go. the shelf up above is actually level properly, because it looks like there's a little drop off. It's not a big deal. It's not bad. I actually like the placement, the coloration. Wait, James, is that a dragon up there on the right? That looks really cool, man. Great. Now you guys can see I have it on a kaleidoscope style, but we can change it around, right? Let's pick a different pattern. Um, let's go over the emotions. We can go with this and just change his colorations, right? Oh, they're all dragons? Energetic. You guys will see a little flashing. We can do a little breathing effect. We'll breathe on and off, brighter, dimmer, through the coloration. I can't see James, I'm legally blind. Nightlight, if we just want a nightlight, right? Dance party. Dance party. Do a little romantic coloration. <laughs> Movie night. He said dance party and so I had to get into it. But as you can see, these uh, Govi products are just absolutely stunning, absolutely amazing. We. We all, everyone here at Dragon Bloggers loves Govi products. There, there's no such thing. We do not exist in the universe where there is such thing as a bad Govi product. It does not exist. <laughs> but uh, that that RGB, I see those panels look amazing. Um, James did a wonderful job getting them set up, getting them all you know under his little dragon shelf that he had there, and it just makes the room pop, especially with those lights off. You can organize them in a pattern that that you want. Um, all he said, the only note that he gave was make sure that you pre-plan out. You know, have an idea of what you want going into it. Make sure you have adequate space to do it too. And then um, it takes about any about less than thirty minutes around that that kind of time frame to get it all set up how you want to. And once you once you get it set up, once you got that app, you're good to go. You can set the mood. You can you can background a party. You can do whatever you want to make your room pop with those ambiance created by the lights. Um, let's uh, see. So yeah, adult blue dragon and one dragon from oh for one of the game of which one from Game of Thrones is it Drogon? Drogon was my favorite. I love the way that Drogon ended. Um, as, as, um, as I saw a great meme about Game of Thrones, um, John, at the end of the show, John went north, Arya went west, Drogon, Drogon flew east, and the show went south. <laughs> I love, you know, I loved Game of Thrones until season six, Battle of the Bastards was really good. Um, but then after that, I just... I just stopped liking it as much as I did. The dialogue wasn't as good, but uh, I love that meme about it. It was just, it was hilarious. Um, but yeah, moving on to our next product though. This one was covered by our glorious leader, Mr. Justin himself. Uh, this is the Renfo AI smart exercise bike. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up his video. I thought, you know, I'm not, I'm not making fun of Justin. I promise you, cause I love Justin to death. But when I saw him biking at six times speed, cause he like, speeds up the video. I thought it was hilarious. Um, and so I'm going to pull up that video so we can all watch it together. And then, um, you guys can make fun of Justin if you decide that's what you want to do. Um, <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and get that video pulled up for, Ooh, excuse me. Get that video pulled up for us here. I, uh, woo, hiccups. Actually, speaking of which, before I get into that, first off, hydrate or dihydrate. Like the shirt says, by the way, this is available at the Dragon Blogger merch store. So be sure you check it out if you want one. Um, if y'all bought one, it would mean the world to me because I love this shirt and I want to spread around the good news of the hydration. Everyone should stay hydrated. Um, but then just a quick reiteration of the giveaways that we currently have going on. So our first um, that's going to be done on Father's Day, June 19th. Um, is Mrs. Dragon Blogger is going to be giving away a, a diamond pendant from her personal collection. So to enter for a chance to win that, you go to www.dragonblogger.com slash win pendant. One word, W-I-N-P-E-N-D-A-N-T. Next up, there is a giveaway that ends on July 2nd uh, for a Eufy security video doorbell. 
uh, which I have. I love it. It's an absolutely amazing product, and I recommend it for anyone who wants to up their home security game. That's at www.dragonblogger.com slash winyufy, W-I-N-E-U-F-Y. And then the last giveaway that we have ready is going to be a week after that. It ends on July 9th. And that is for a chance to win the Elegoo Neptune 2S 3D printer with Duramic 3D filament 2-pack. So you can get your 3D printer and you're basically good to go. Um, but yeah, those are all of our giveaways that we currently have going on. So make sure you go follow those links for a chance to win. And then let's go ahead and get into this next video so we can see Justin riding at six times speed on a bike. So I spent a lot of time exercising on the <laughs> AI smart bike, and this is with six times speed acceleration because I put over 15 <laughs> minutes in just to do a sample of the application so that I could show it. So what I really love about this AI smart bike is when I'm using the workout in the app, you can see the app is on the phone holder in front of me on the bike. It will automatically adjust the magnetic tension up and down in various phases. So it'll have you really press your legs by increasing the magnetic tension, which really burns your thighs, really increases your heart rate, gets you sweating, and then it gives you a cool down period where it lowers the magnetic tension to kind of let you catch your breath and keep even pacing. The important thing is it tracks your pedaling speed and your pace so you kind of have to keep everything even at the same pace in order to make any gains and pass the next scenario so that you can move on and continue working on your progress and training. So it is a really intense workout. It keeps you busy for quite a long time. Recommend you listen to some music. I had my earphones on when I was listening to this and you could see just the result of this, how it peaks up and increases the tension then comes back down it still thinks i'm pedaling it in the cycle but it's just a fantastic workout so short sweet to the point thank you justin for covering that amazing product for us uh but as you can see just a really cool product another like i said i was mentioning rinfo earlier actually one of those really cool brands that when you use their product with the app if they're if they have an app for it it's just going to be really cool like so i think it's awesome that it allows him the app allows him to keep pacing um, keep an even pacing rather and it also tracks you know this the the actual workout itself it's just absolutely amazing that was a very intense workout i know right six times speed he was going at it he did he said i think he said 15 minutes um so yeah definitely a really good smart bike or really cool good smart bike with that magnetic resistance and the cool Rimfo app to come with it. Um, again, that was the Rimfo AI Smart Exercise Bike. Uh, it's a it's currently twenty five percent off right now, uh, so it's hovering at about um, at about six hundred dollars. Uh, so definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a really good investment for a workout bike. I know workout equipment is really good. It's it sometimes it can be pricey, but it's definitely worth the investment if that's what you're looking for. Like we just got a, a new workout set that that we have here. Um, that's basically a little bit of everything all around kind of stuff. And so I'm super excited to use it. I know that Justin just recently got a new rowing machine too. Um, and he challenged, or Oliver challenged him actually to see if he could keep up. So, you know, it's cool. It's always cool to have that awesome workout equipment with you, um, especially when you have someone to compete with or, you know, you're trying to do your best to stay in shape. Next up, we have a really cool product. Uh, it is the Swamp Cooler Fan. And this product here was uh, another one that's also covered by Justin. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that video pulled up so we can go ahead and watch that. But it's a nice little oscillating, um, like evaporate, evaporative cooler uh, uh, tower fan. Um, and I'm going to let Justin do all the talking because he knows the big fancy words that mean the things and stuff. I'm here showcasing this Air Choice Evaporative Tool. Evaporative cooler. Aha! He messed it up too. See, it's a hard word. Tower fan. What you get here is your typical tower fan, except you can pour water and ice, as well as an ice pack, with it to help cool down and blow a really, really cool breeze, which dramatically cools down the air. This is ideal if you live in dry, hot climates, not in hu super humid climates, of course. But if you live in the so he's basically saying where he lives, but not where I live. Because it's humid here, and I think it's pretty dry where he's from, if I'm not mistaken. Southwest, this is ideal. So you get the water fill container up at the top, but you can see it drains through all the way to the bottom, and you can fill it in at the bottom as well. So you could choose to pour it in at the top to fill it, or you could pour it directly in at the bottom. Adding the little ice cooler in a 
Also, my, my apologies. I, I read your comment, but I forgot to say, hi, Darth Wing. Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here, man. It comes with one that you put in the freezer. You fill it with water, and then you place it in the bottom. You can see the coils back here. Easy to clean. There's a nice little filter on it. Here is the bottom container. Here is where you would add your ice pack to make it nice and cold so that you get a cool mist and it cools down the air that's blowing on you. And it makes just a dramatic difference. Living here in Southern California or used to live in Arizona, having the ability it never rains in Southern California. That's why it's so dry. <laughs> to just put an ice cold water will really help because we have a very low humidity level. So the water vapor and the cold water vapor that's being blown by the fan really makes a difference. And it's better than an air conditioner because it doesn't use as much power. Now, obviously, like I said, if you're in a very high humid area, you, uh, evaporative coolers don't work typically as well, but they work very well if you live in a dry climate area. So... You can simply just close it up. Here's your water level, and it tells you when you're getting close to low. You could fill your line up to near max. I've usually put it a little over halfway. It lasts about almost two days, depending on how dry your area is. It lasts surprisingly long before you have to refill it. Now, you could use this as just a fan mode, or you could use it as an evaporative cooler where it blows cool air from the uh, water as well. You have your temperature settings where it will auto-adjust and shut off if it reaches that temperature, or your fan speeds plus it oscillates. It just gives you a really, really good burst of cool air if you live in a dry climate. Again, if it's very humid, not going to cool you down too much because the humidity, it, it requires dry air for the humidity to actually cool down. Now, it still will blow like cooler air on you, but the humidity won't feel as well if it's very humid. All right, Justin, thank you so much for covering that product for us. So as you can see, a really cool um uh, I, I like, I really like the name of it because it's called Swamp Cooler because it, uh, be, I, I think it's, be, well, my reasoning why I think it's cool is because I, and I feel like they did this on purpose is because it adds the humidity and swamps can be really humid, but I think that it's cool. And it, it's nice that, that he read it, he reiterates that fact that if you have it and you live in a dry climate, like a drier climate, like he was saying that he had lived in Arizona, he lived in Southern California where it's dry. It's really good, but if you live in a more humid or temperate um, you know, climate, like here in Port Arthur or where I was like in Houston, um, then you know, it, 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 it's not as effective. You could still use it, but it wouldn't be as good as it would be in a dry climate. Let's see, we used to have a swamp cooler style AC. Oh, how was it? Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Um, but yeah, this is a nice cooler. It's got all those features. You can add the water in it. Um, you can add an ice pack even. It's oscillating. You can change the fan speed. It has a temperature regulation on it that will shut it off when it reaches a certain temperature. Um, and I just think that makes it one of the coolest fans around essentially because you have all that utility out of a fan um and it just it just makes it that much better you know uh so moving on to our next product we've got the drio air purifier um and i believe this one oh let's see we packed it with crushed ice and it worked oh okay Ooh, that honestly sounds really cool. I can't imagine. See, I've never had any kind of cooling device where you could put ice in it before, but that that sounds awesome. Um, but yeah, oh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so this is the, I, I believe it's Drio. It might be Dreo. I'm not sure. Justin will probably say it, but this is an air purifier um, and he's going to basically show us how it works. Um, this, the official name is the Drio Air Purifier Macro Pro, I believe. Yes, that is correct. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that video up for us and we're going to watch it as one big, uh, happy dragon blogger family. Also, speaking of dragon blogger family, is that Margaret in the chat? Welcome in Margaret. Happy to have you here. Welcome to the stream. I love it when my regulars come by. I love you guys. You're the reason why I need these air purifiers. So, next up is this Drio air purifier. Again, pet hair, pollen, so many reasons why you want a pet dander, so many reasons why you want an air purifier if you're a pet owner or you live in an area that has a lot of pollen and a lot of plants. It is springtime. Air purifier is really important at keeping your air clean. So, let me move this over here. This Drio air purifier. One cool thing to know about it is it has an air sensor on it. Some of them don't have an air sensor. You just turn them on and they run. This one has an air sensor. Touch sensitive buttons. 
as you can see, it has the sensor right here when it's blinking like that, it's trying to de detect the air quality. Red means your air quality is not very good, a lot of particulates in the air. You want to eventually get it to blue, which is your air quality clean. Now it could do, my room's about 160 square feet. It could do my room in five minutes or less, my entire room. So if this is red, I, when I first turned it on, it was red. And then I ran it, within seven minutes, it went through the colors from red to orange to green to blue. And it basically circulated all the air in my room, removed the particulates in five minutes. So if you set it to auto mode, it only comes on when it needs to, but you have multiple different fan speed settings. This is on high right now, but you can set it to nighttime mode where in nighttime mode by pressing this little crescent moon over here makes no noise whatsoever. You can still feel it, but it's making almost no noise whatsoever. It's actually too quiet. I actually like fan noise when I sleep. It's actually, actually so too quiet. quiet. So you have a timer <laughs> mode for two, four, eight hours. You have a lock button, which is cool because if you have kids or people play around the buttons, you don't want to accidentally keep tapping them so it locks the buttons out. Uh, and then you have, of course, the light here that tells you when the filter needs to be replaced. The filter on this thing, fairly large for its size. Now this is not a huge air purifier, but has a really nice air filter here. Multiple layers, including the carbon filter. Just rotate it out, pull out the drum, you're good to go. Pulls in air on the sides, both sides, blows the fresh purified air out the top. And this is just a really, really cool air purifier. It has a turbo mode. I'll show that as a turbo mode. Gonna let this run for a little turbo. bit more. Turbo, yeah, that's turbo mode. It's good. You can it's like barely up. hear it. There oh, you go. Pretty loud okay, on turbo now you mode. Can hear it. Oh, that's yeah. loud. That's pretty loud on turbo mode. Yeah. That's producing quite a bit of air. So as you can see, it's really awesome air purifier. Currently, right now, it's about seven percent off. It's about one hundred and thirty bucks, um, and it's just really cool. It takes only twelve minutes. Uh, for you to purify an entire room. Uh, the Turbo Pure technology uh, circulates clean air up and down in, at insanely fast speeds in that turbo mode. It's about uh, six feet or six square feet per second. Um, it's really cool. It's user friendly. The filter life is, is measured by like a, a really cool advanced algorithm to provide longer life and fresher air to you. Um, uh, again, it has that timer mode for two, four and eight hours um, and filter lifetime indicator for your convenience. And uh, another cool thing is it has that light on it too um, so that you know, you know when the quality of, of air in your room um, has reached an optimum, you know, level. And so I just think that's something that's super cool about this um, this Dreo Air Purifier Macro Pro. Um, again, it covers, uh, I believe it's about a little over 1300 square feet coverage. Um, it's, a, it's considered low noise at 20 decibels, uh, six modes, 360 degree filtration cleaner, um, and it removes up to 99.97% of dust, smoke, and pollen. So that's a really cool product. Moving on to our next product, uh, this one was covered by one of our newer Dragon Bloggers, Dim Demetrius. He's not really new anymore. I still call him newest because I believe he's like our newest, like I, I believe he is our newest person. Um, but you know, he's been with, a, he's been pumped out of quite a bit of videos now and um, really, I mean, joined the, the group and just got right to it. Uh, much respect to him, but he's going to be covering these Feflo sleeping pads. Um, they're really cool. They're really easy to inflate. And one thing that I love about them is that you can fit them with other Feflo uh, uh, sleeping pads to basically uh, create the ultimate ultimate little sleeping pad for whenever you go out and you go camping or wherever you may be. Even if you want to take it to the beach and lay down on the beach, it'd be good for that too. So it's really awesome. I'm going to go ahead and pull that video up for us now. Also, don't forget to hydrate or dehydrate everyone. Grab your water bottles and get some good old water in your system. What's up guys? My name is Demetrius and I'm going to be showing you guys this sleeping pad made by... Also, I know it's a small thing, but I love his table. No two top. With this one right here, you can bring it on a hike or if you're camping. Hey, yo, is that Guillermo? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here, bud. How you doing? With also a pillow for backpacking. But the pillow part, you have to blow that up, which I had to use my air compressor for that, which I'll show you guys. It comes in this pad right here, and you open up with these two Velcro straps right there. You just pop those off, and then you unroll it. So like I said, the pillow part that I had to air up with my air compressor, you can also air this up by mouth. 
and it's really easy to i just think it's so cool i wish i had a table like that right here where you air it up right here for the pillow and then you have the self inflating too which you you will unscrew and all the air will air it up it takes about two minutes to do that it took me like five seconds to air it up. Air up so one thing that I think is cool is that you air up the pillow and the pad separately. But what's also cool is like he's about to tell you is that you can fit multiple in together. Can you see it right here? You can fit it inside of a tent like this. You can put it either way. It also has these clips on the sides. You can see those little black little buttons right there. They clip to multiple of these so you can make it like a long mattress of where you are staying at. Um, again, this is made by No to Top and an awesome product, and I do highly recommend this product to you guys if you're going to go camping or even if you just want to kick back and relax on a soft memory foam pad. Thank you guys for watching. Again, shout out to Dragon Blogger Demetrius for doing that amazing video, for showing us this really cool sleeping pad. Um, Right now, uh, like I said, you can fit them onto other ones. So you can buy one, you can buy two, you can buy four if you want to. You can fit them together and basically do what you want. Honestly, I think it's cool the fact that um, I really like the fact that you inflate the pillow and the pad separately because sometimes you may want to put less air in the pillow so it's kind of you know like it's not too firm and your your head will seek in a little bit and sometimes when you have them in one where like the pad inflates with the uh the pillow sometimes like if you want it it's really hard to to, to customize that pillow setting so i think that's something cool about this buffalo sleeping mat but also like like i said it, it's super amazing that you can fit it in with multiple of the same thing and create like a basically a super pad next up uh we have a really cool product that i did uh, at first like i have a lot of i have a lot of um like little nieces and nephews and little cousins and stuff who love dinosaurs. And I also love dinosaurs. And so when I got this product originally, I was like, oh, this is going to be something that is not that great. Something that's not that cool. But I was so wrong. And I'm so glad I was so wrong. I fell in love with Dino Bros. This was my second uh, pack from them. And they're just incredible. There's these little pullback cars, which is super nostalgic for me. Growing up as a 90s kid, I used to have pullback cars all the time. Used to get them in like McDonald's Happy Meals. Used to go to like Family Dollar or Walmart and get them there. And um, just being able to see these really cool dino cars is just absolutely amazing. I love the fact, like the, the, the attention to detail that they have is super amazing. They're hyper realistic, they're textured. And they're just, if you know someone who loves dinosaurs, especially with like the new Jurassic Park movie, and everything just coming out definitely something that you're going to want to check out for someone who you know loves dinosaurs so i'm gonna go ahead and pull that up so for all my di dinosaur lovers i got something really cool to show you here these are the dinosaur go-kart series and i think they're the cutest thing i they're you know i i love dinosaurs and i have nieces and nephews who also love dinosaurs and what's really cool about each one of these is that they look super hyper realistic and i love the textures and designs that each of them have as you can see each one is a different type of dinosaur from different periods and they just all look super cool and super realistic and that's one thing that i love about them it really does add to the value i mean like just look at this one like look at how spiky it is it's textured and it gives it a real feel especially to those little kids who just absolutely love these awesome giant reptilian creatures and it also adds the effect of you know making <laughs> some of these you know old school favorites of ours um, into cars now what's really cool about this series is that all you have to do is pull them back and you let it go and i don't want it to go too far but they'll all pull back and just kind of shoot all you have to do is pull it back minimally and so i'm going to let them rip but i had way too much all, fun doing as this. you guys can see if you're into dinosaurs or you know someone I had absolutely way too much fun doing this watch that you want to check out. <laughs> so, um, definitely i started laughing love them, um, get them <laughs> for them and just let them go <laughs> 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 I absolutely, you know, I, I know for a fact that like, I, there's just, there's just a giant, I'm just a giant kid. I mean, like y'all have seen all my star Wars stuff, right? Like y'all know that I, I, I love little toys. I got all these kind of RC stuff and everything. And so I, hold on, let me lock on my camera. I, did I unlock it? Okay, there we go. Um, I love little stuff like that and just getting to, to use those little things 
those little toy cars was absolutely amazing. I ended up giving them to my um, my nieces and nephews, like I said, because it's something that I know they enjoy. Like I definitely wanted to keep them. I'm not going to lie with you, but it's just it's one of those products you get. And you don't expect to like it as much as you do, but you fall in love with it. And I think that it, you, Dino Bros did such an amazing job with that set. It was absolutely wonderful. And I, I am forever thankful for them introducing those little products to me. Dino Bros, if you ever happen to watch this, please send me more of your dinosaur products. They're absolutely amazing. They're super higher, high, super and hyper realistic. And they just, they make my day every time. Send me any dinosaur product, please. The, the, again, Dino Bros, go check them out. If you know someone who loves dinosaur stuff, it's definitely something that you're going to want to check out. Next up, we've got a nice little, like, a, another, like, kid, kind of toddler sort of product. Uh, this one was covered by Merle and his daughter. Um, and I, I think that she is the, she is the most precious little thing. Um, Merle's going to basically show you how to set up the splash pad and, uh, his little girl is going to get on it and just have a wonderful time on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get that video pulled up and we're going to watch it. Splash play mat by iBase Toy. Uh, it's supposed to be rated for ages five and up and it's supposed to be easy to clean. So let's take a look at that. Let's get this open. Also, forgive me for a second uh, while this video plays. I just need to go run to the restroom. It's right there real quick. I'm going to let this video play. I've had a little bit too much water and I can't hold it anymore. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock my camera, let this video play for a little bit. I will be right back. I promise you guys. I'm so sorry. Really tightly packed here. And here we have the main body. This open. Got our welcome packets and instructions, and then the mat itself. Let's get this opened up. All right, so it's a little bigger than I was expecting. That's very tightly packed. My apologies for that. Yes, we just now need to get this hooked up to a hose. And here's the splash pad. <laughs> Y'all, she is the most precious little thing. Again, we're back with the splash play mat from iBase Toy. Um, and going after my daughter playing on this for about half an hour or so, she had an absolute blast. The spray, the fountain, at least with the water pressure I had, only came up to about her shoulders. And so that was a little bit small for her. Uh, but she's seven, so she's getting up there. I do like the fact that it does include a vinyl repair patch and with instructions on how to get that done as well as you can change out the connection point for a quick release if that's what your hose uses. Uh, it was pretty easy to fold up. My only real complaint with it is that the mount point for the hose is on the top of the mat, which means when you go to drain this, you actually have to lift up one end and hold it as it drains out, and that gets pretty heavy. So be aware of that if you ever have to take this down. Uh, and it's a great little toy, a great little uh, playmate. So shout out to Merle and his precious little daughter for covering those products for us. Um, as you can see, it, it's definitely going to be a must buy for your little kid uh, with the, you know, summer being here and it's it's hot, especially, man, it, it hit triple digits yesterday here in Texas and woo! Uh, so if you have a little toddler and they're going to be outside, uh, definitely something worth picking out. Like he said, his little daughter was, is about seven and it came close to her shoulders. Uh, so you do get a good amount of height. Um, he, he said his one thing uh, that he didn't like was the fact that um, the tubing or the, the 
point where you screw in the hose is towards the top. He would have preferred it at the bottom. So that's just something to keep in mind. But absolutely um, wonderful product for your little, um, you know, boy or girl or, or whether you're getting it for someone, um, you know, really awesome for them uh, to make sure they stay cool and have a bunch of water fun in the summer outside. Um, yeah, triple. Yeah, I know, James. I know. Um, but, uh, next up here again, another amazing product. I love this product for its treat yourself value. As I call it, I absolutely love, uh, the spa Lux teak set. Like I said, I have the rose, uh, spa set and I believe I have, I think this one might be a little different than the one I have. Cause this says 10 piece and I think mine is a 15 piece, but the rose I, and I, and lavender, I absolutely love. I know Mrs. Dragon blogger has uh, the vanilla one. And I know that Miss Rachel, I believe she has, uh, the rose and Tahiti. She might have more. Um, but I'm not, I'm not sure. She might be in the chat or James might know. Also, what's up busy? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Welcome to the chat. And does this get cold? Uh, Stephanie, which were you talking about? The, the, uh, the spa set or, or what are we talking about? I, I want to make sure that I don't answer you incorrectly, but, uh, oh, she has rose lavender and Tahiti. Okay. So she's got rose and lavender. Like I do. I don't, I've never tried the Tahiti one, so I'm going to have to check those out. But Miss Rachel looks absolutely so adorable and her cute little, she has her cute little flower in her hair and a nice dress. So I'm going to let her do her thing on this little video and pull it up so we can watch it. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm today going to be showcasing this rose scented bath set by Spa Lactiques. It's a 10 piece set. So it comes like this in this cute little basket, this little pink bag. And it's got these nice little wooden handles, absolutely adorable. So we're gonna And one thing that I love about the Spa Lux tea set is like, you smell it. Like as soon as you take it out of that plastic, it hits you, it, it's strong. All right, open this up. Does come with ingredient listing if you need to look at that um, when you get the product. And it just comes staged on a little block. All right. Nothing in here, it's just a pillar. All right. So this is so cute the way it comes. So this here is your bath buff. Just put your soap on it and lather up. Look how adorable that is. Absolutely love it. And then we have in the front here. Is oh, I guess butter. I guess this one doesn't and come with a bath bomb, maybe. Yes, I love the fact that they have shea butter. So body butters are great to use, like after you exfoliate, really hydrate that skin. Oh, the rose scent is just amazing. It yes. Really like you're walking through a rose garden. It's absolutely Yes. Incredible. And I can feel the moisturizing on my hands. Oh, so beautiful, the scent. So that's the body butter. And the packaging is just, it's just gorgeous. Everything is just absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful. So impressed. Spa Lux Teak did an absolutely amazing job with these. Had to pick up my son from the mall. Oh, his e-bike died out of battery. Oh, poor Oliver. Sanitary. Of course, I have one nail, so it's always difficult for me to get things open. I'm going to get myself like a little poker. There we go. Oh, the smell. So beautiful. I can feel that it's like a, just a nice, beautiful lotion. I love their lotion and, and their hand so cream. It's so amazing. You feel that shea butter in there. Yup. I and love the fact that they have the shea butter. Body lotion. So lotions are a little thicker um, than uh, like the hand Creams. cream. Yep. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, so it's a little more hydrating to use. And then we have our hand.
and soap, with Shay and Richard Shay. Oh, he's going to be start driving soon? I bet you're so proud, Justin. Put by your closet. Then you have your two bath bombs. Oh, it does come with bath bombs. Okay. I One of my favorite parts about these Spa Lux Teak sets are the bath bombs. But DC, okay, so. So she's telling you how they're a potent scent, but one thing about these bath bombs and this kit and this 10 piece kit is that they're smaller than the ones that are in the 15 piece kit. So keep that in mind because mine were kind of like this about that big where these are kind of like, uh, like I, I want to say they're about maybe like a third, maybe closer to a half the size. Even though they're small, I really think one will do it. Yeah, she's right. They will, it, One will do it. Then it comes with your shower gel. Just give it a smell. See if it's as potent as the uh, lotion. Yep. It is. Oh my God. <laughs> Yep. Again, like the scent is really, um, really beautiful. So you don't need a lot. It's well scented. You probably just need to shake a few in your tub and you're good. So that is the uh, rose set by Spa Lestique, 10 piece set. As you see here, it comes with this gorgeous uh, bag. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a great day. Miss Rachel has such a cute smile. Her sound cut out for me. Oh, it did? Oh, I'm sorry. Huh. But um, as you can see, uh, I love the Spa Lux Teak set because it really does have an awesome treat yourself factor. Like you can basically have your own spa day how you want to at your own home, at your leisure. And it's just absolutely amazing. I love the fact that it comes with a tote. It comes with all the stuff, the shower gel, the lotions, the creams, the bath bombs, the bath salts, the shower gel, the bath gel. It's just, you you can literally have a treat yourself day. Now, one of my favorite combinations to do, uh, two actually, and I'm gonna let y'all in on. So I have a Syncom hand massager that I love. Um, and it comes with these nice little uh, gloves that you can use. So what I do is I take my hands and I put the hand cream from this pack on and I rub my hands with the um, the um, the hand cream and then I put a little bit extra around my hand and I put them in the gloves and then I put my hands into the massager and it's absolutely amazing. The other combination that I really like to do is I take some of that... Um, the um the bubble bath and i combine it with the bath salts and a bath bomb and it's strong but it's not overpoweringly strong um and i can i combined it with my jacuzzi jets in my bath and just had a really nice relaxing warm soap that was rose scented um i did the i did the same thing with the lavender too just an absolutely amazing wonderful treat yourself day that i gave to myself and it's just i this thing is cool you can take it on vacation you can take it to like a like a if you go to like a hotel you can just do so much with it and it's just absolutely amazing for that so uh thank you so much miss rachel for covering that product for us uh, you did an amazing job again you look so cute with your little flower i love it i love the dress too um next up we have a product that is covered by justin and speaking and speaking talking about oliver oliver is also in this video too um and they're testing out the smoosat s8 scooter with kickstand um they take it out for a little bit of a test run um and basically show us how awesome it is so i'm gonna go ahead and pull that video up and let justin do the talking from here here showcasing the Smooth Sat S8 Kick Scooter. What I really like is the larger 8-inch wheels and the fact that it has a kickstand, and you can see it can stand up on its own. It also has a Y-shaped handlebar, and it's quite adjustable for either younger kids all the way up to teens and even adults. And I like the way you could just pull on the lever and fold it up as well, so it really folds down quite a bit. So my son took it out for a test, and it was balanced very well for him. All you have to do is use the included Allen wrench tool to loosen up the latch next to the handlebar so you could raise the handlebar to the right size and he took it for a spin did about 20 minutes testing used it many times since then 
the large wheels really make it easy to control and handle the various bumps on the road. So it's much better than those scooters that have very small wheels. Overall, excellent scooter, works well, has a nice kickstand, highly recommended. So very straightforward and to the point. Justin got all the all the talking points. I mean, of course he did. He's the one who taught us how to do it. Um, but just an absolutely amazing, um, amazing product uh, to have, especially if you like scooters. Uh, really nice, really easy to use. All you need to do is use an Allen wrench, which I don't know if it comes with it, but I assume that it probably does, um, since an Allen wrench is typically not a common screwdriver. Um, but you know, really easy to set up, really good, really nice colors too. I love the, like the black, silver, green, cause it fits really well together. And it's just a really nice compact scooter that you can use to, um, you know, whether you're just using it for exercise, you're using it to get from, uh, one place to another, that's a short distance away way um it's just going to be perfect for all of those occasions so definitely check out the oh the smooth set you know actually i'm so i'm so sorry i forgot to switch before i started talking about it in the carousel i, I messed up just a little bit my apologies um but yeah the, the smooth set s8 um s8 uh scooter um next up is is going to be of course of course this one's going to be my favorite product for the night because y'all know me i'm a star wars nerd um this is going to be the star wars black series emperor palpatine uh or darth city is depending on what you want to call him um it's sold out before the show do you want me to go ahead and skip it then because i don't mind skipping it but i can't believe it's sold out i'm glad i got mine um when i when i get it oh just add it to your wish list oh, okay okay so i'm definitely gonna i'm gonna go grab it it's right over here um, y'all know me and my lightsabers i love my lightsabers uh i absolutely love the design of this one it comes with this really cool stand too that you can use it to display it which is how i use mine but it's a it's the uh Force FX Black Series, and this is the Elite model. And all the Elite model means that it has two display modes. Now, this is the, the mode that I use uh, most often, which is with the actual lightsaber. Um, there's an, another mode where you, you simply unscrew this because this screws off, and you can remove the blade. And then there's a different screw on top um, that you have that basically doesn't allow you to put the blade in see because the blade can come out um, It doesn't allow you to put the blade in um, But it, it's just literally a hilt um, And it won't do any of the lighting effects or anything. It won't do any sounds or anything um, So that's why I prefer to keep it in this mode But some people prefer to just show the hilt because they don't have enough space for the long blade um, I always like to show off the blade because that's like the coolest part to me uh, I'm gonna go flip my lights real quick because obviously this thing's gonna look better with the lights off. So, and of course you can see my little lightsaber wall over there. I guess my my uh, computer is kind of bright, uh, but so it has two buttons: uh, one green and one red. Um, and so the green button, if you just press it once, is going to ignite the saber. Ooh. My camera's kind of struggling there. It's going to ignite the saber. Now that same button will, you know, bring the lightsaber down too. However, if you turn the lightsaber on and you hold that green button, it does this really cool force lightning effect that I love. I think that's so cool, especially because... Palpatine is known for his force lightning. I am the Senate. You know, like, <laughs> it's just, it's something that's really cool. Um, another thing that I like about the Force X Elite series is that it also features, if you hit one of these buttons, it's like deflecting blasters, you know, so you can like do cool poses, like you're deflecting blaster shots at you, which I think is really cool. And then another thing is that at the end, if you hold that same button, it doesn't affect on the tip as if you were like cutting through something, which I think is super cool. Um, and so I really do enjoy this saber a lot. I think that um, the Black Series is one of my favorite series of lightsabers. Uh, I mostly use them for just display on my wall. Like eventually this one will be on my wall. I'm just waiting on some more clips to come in. But now keep in mind though, that like these are not like the lightsabers that you fight with that like you should not fight with this blade this blade is not meant it's not battle ready it's really only for display 
So you have the chance to like damage these things if you do end up hitting it on something. And it's just something to keep in mind. If you want a battle ready saber, those are completely different. Um, they have them on Amazon also. But if you want custom ones that look like, if you want a battle ready saber that looks like something that has a black series hilt, um, you're definitely going to um, spend spend quite a bit of money. And you know that that's just something you got to keep in mind. Now, uh, just a little bit of Star Wars lore for you, um, because you know that's that's the type of person that I am. Um, Palpatine's lightsaber hilt is an insult to every Jedi. Palpatine was so strong in the dark side of the Force that he felt like um, Sith had evolved past the need for lightsabers really because they were so strong and the, they could use like force lightning, Sith alchemy, all that kind of stuff. And his lightsaber, because the Jedi, the, the lightsaber was more of like a, a Jedi weapon by the time we get to the events of like episode one through three. And he made his, the Jedi see, saw the lightsaber as a weapon that needed to be used humbly and it should have been modest. So Palpatine makes his lightsaber out of the most expensive metals that exist in the Star Wars universe to show that he is everything but modest. Um, and I think that that was like, that's like the coolest form of disrespect I've ever seen anyone do. Like he was like, oh, this is about modesty? Well, I'm gonna make my lightsaber the most blang blang lightsaber in this entire galaxy to spit on your values because he hated nothing more in the galaxy than the Jedi. So that's your little bit of Star Wars lore about Emperor Palpatine and his lightsaber. I hope you enjoyed this product. It's an absolutely amazing uh, product and uh, yeah, I, I love I love the Black Series. They're absolutely amazing. Alrighty. <laughs> so I got to I got to do my little geek out for the night. So <laughs> that was that. Uh, the next product that we have on the carousel for this evening um is a I've I use this thing every day, man. Like I use this I use this thing every day uh, for tea, uh, for hot chocolate, like just depending, I love this kettle and it heats up water so fast. Like it takes absolutely no time to get water boiling. I use it for my ramen noodles, uh, my instant pho. Like I love it. I love it. I love it. Kosori did an amazing job on this kettle. Uh, my, one of my cousins tried to steal this thing from me because she wanted it so bad. And I was like, uh, uh, I'm not giving up this kettle. This kettle has changed my life. So I'm going to pull up that video so we can go ahead and watch it together. So, so this is the Kosori glass kettle. And basically it's super easy to set up once you pull it out of the box. All you have to do is take... I also love that it has the blue light on it. This is what engages the heating and then this is what you would do to pop the top. What I really like about it is that if you look at this part right here and I'll bring it closer to the camera there's a little filter in there that filters whatever um, you have in here um, most likely hot water and um, you know it controls the rate of flow at which it comes out so I have 700 milliliters of water here this thing is 1.7 liter capacity so I can fit about one more liter than what I'm going to put in here and I'm just going to do this to demonstrate how fast this water will start to boil so that I have it in there, I have the top closed, I can go ahead and engage it and it'll have this nice little blue LED that pops around it. So let's go uh, ahead and see how long this water is going to take to boil. I, I like doing little time lapses uh, and having a little bit of music going with it. There's already fog starting to form up at the top and there are little bubbles that are at the bottom um, it's making some noise but as you can see it's basically taking no time to get to boiling temperatures now one thing that is cool about this uh, glass kettle is that you don't have there's no guesswork with this don't have to know when the water is um, you know finished boiling 
it will turn off on its own. So that's something that's really cool about this, this uh, glass kettle. And there you have it, it flipped off, so it's done. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and make me a glass of tea. I love this, this nice thing, man. Um, like I said, uh, this is a absolute godsend. It works so fast. The water is boiling hot and I have to do minimal work to get my delicious tea. So if you're in the market for a glass kettle like this, definitely check out this Corsori one. <laughs> James, maybe I need this for my... <laughs> Uh, and I know it seems a little, uh, it, it, so it, you get a little bit of kind of, of skewed, um, what's the word? Uh, observation of, of that because of the five times speed. Now, I just want to let you know that without the five times speed, um, I want to say it took about, overall, it took about a minute and 45 seconds to about two minutes. Um, if you don't include the five times speed, the, it, it, it's it's actually a really fast uh, kettle. Uh, but because I kept doing the five times speed, uh, slowing it back to regular speed to talk, five times speed again, talking, five times speed again. So you get kind of a weird kind of time frame uh, because of that. But it, it it only took about two minutes. That's 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 yeah. It, it didn't take it didn't take that long at all. Um, I just did it because I didn't want to pad out the video that long. Um. But yeah, absolutely amazing electric kettle. Corsori did an amazing job with it. It's very sturdy. I love the look of it. It's very simplistic. And that blue light, I know it's like a small thing, but it's just, I, I absolutely love that. And it's a really good indicator for knowing when the, you know, because you know, once that blue light is off, it's no longer heating up. And that means your water has completely boiled or gotten to boiling point and then it has shut off. So just a really easy product to, to use, really easy product. Not not a lot of guesswork. You don't need to structure anything. You plug it in, you put it on the pad, you, you flip that switch and you're good to go. Next up, we have an awesome product. Uh, this one was covered by Justin, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was... Uh, yes, yes, yes. This is the O Cedar, uh, mopping system. Uh, so Justin's going to kind of show us, uh, how this, how this works. You know, uh, believe it or not, I actually have this exact same one. So when I, when, like, I saw that this was going to be on the carousel, I was like, I don't remember doing a video on this. And then I was like, oh, Justin just happens to have the same one. <laughs> I'm here showcasing the O Cedar Easy Ring Microfiber Spin Mop with the Bucket. Now this is an entire floor cleaning system in one. Not only do you get a mop that comes with three different mop heads, which have a really nice microfiber, but it rings out really easily by using this little step right here and just spinning the mop in this mesh basket. It'll spin it, get the water off your mop so that it can make it easy for you to mop the ground. It's a really good system. It's easy for you to just simply rinse the mop off, spin out the excess liquid so you I can really start mopping the floor. Them. It makes it work really well on hard floors. I really love mop Justin's floors. Using I, they, floor they look so good. Sort of four cleaner, pine sole, whatever works best for you. So easy to use just to step on it and keep spinning it out. It kind of rings out kind of like those little um, salad spinners and it just spins all the water out of the mop so that way you can get to the desired level of moisture. So that way you're not spraying too much liquid on the ground, but just spreading enough that it can actually clean up the mud and dirt and dust. It's an excellent mopping system. I found it works really well. And most likely, I like that it comes with three of the triangular bristle heads, which are very, very textured. They're soft. They're microfiber. They pick up the dirt and dust on the ground real well. So dirt and dust sticks to it and attracts to it. Gets all sorts of muddy dog prints off my floor easily. I really recommend this mop. Okay, so as as you can see, just a really easy mop to use, really nice. I love the fact that he compared the ring out system to a salad spinner, which I hadn't even thought about, but he's absolutely right. That's basically how it works. It just spins it. And because of the mop head, the mop head rotates with the rotation of the uh, the little spinner. So you don't have to worry about uh, the handle spinning and whacking you because that bottom part will spin with it. So it's really easy to wring it out. And like he said, you don't get too much water on the ground because one of my, one of my least favorite parts about mopping is when you pull the mop out the water, if you don't have like one of those 
old school ones that they used to have at like with the with the bucket with the the pool handle that they used to have in like middle school and high school and stuff if you don't have one of those you typically got to wring it out with your hand um you know like you got to twist it when you pull it out and so this just helps regulate how much how much mop juice you get on your floor and you can control it <laughs> so yeah definitely an awesome system and for the price that it's at um you know just under sixty dollars is definitely worth it it's going to save you a lot of time and wasted effort um when you're mopping your floors so it's something that's definitely worth the investment in my opinion Next up on our little carousel for the evening is we have the Abco Tech Leg Pillow. And this is this is our last James here product for the night. Um, but he's going to show us uh, this nice little uh, elevation rest pillow with a foam top. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get this one pulled up. And then uh, you were getting close to the end, y'all. I'm sorry. We don't have many more products left. Go ahead and pull this up. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product. This is from Abco Tech, guys. Only James could talk three and a half minutes about a about a pillow. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. This is the Abco <laughs> Sports Leg Elevating Pillow. Now, this is a memory foam style elevating pillow for your bed or just to lay around, guys, to elevate your feet up to help adjust with improve knee help and hip knee pain you know hip pain uh helps blood circulation let's say if you guys need to keep your legs you know what i might actually have to invest in one of these because i recently like my hip has been absolutely killing me and i think it's because of the way i'm sleeping and so i definitely think that i probably need to invest in one of these because i am tired of my i have never had hip pain in my life and waking up in the morning sometimes and then having to sit in a computer chair all day with hip pain Ooh, let me tell you, it is not bueno. It's elevated after maybe surgery or something. This will do that. Now, this is... Also, speaking of which, guys, hydrate or dehydrate. Make sure you got your water bottles with you at every Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment Show hosted by me, Nikita. This is made from a memory foam, high poly, uh, poly, premium polyethylene foam with a breathable cover. Now, the breathable cover is washable, so you can wash the cover, guys. Now they say this exactly. is approximately Busy. like uh, 12 inches wide by, I think, uh, well, I can tell you right here, 24 inches by 21 inches by 8 inches. It says right on the box. Why do I have to guess? When I can read, right? <laughs> so let's pop this open, give you guys your first look at this product. I know it's a little hard to see here, and I'll just move back a little. Grab a knife. Now be careful, guys. Of course, don't want to cut it, the product itself. So we just want to open it. Now I'm sure this is going to be probably vacuum sealed so once we open it it's gonna pop open and extend out wider and bigger than the box so and it is that's okay busy it's worth it it's worth it i promise you gonna throw the box down this is where you guys got to be careful so you don't actually cut the product but let's find the actual tape and kind of pull the tape off if i can I don't want this to actually pop me in the face while holding a knife. There we go. That. And 10 times speed. <laughs> Completely untape it, hit our mouth. Of course. Then it. It's okay, James. Since we don't have many products left for the night, again. we can go ahead and afford and to watch see the whole video. An hour later. Our <laughs> outer layer of plastic and pop out. Once that big one's out, yeah, we're unfolding. It's huge. Now it will take a little bit once I cut this back bag open to adjust to appropriate size. And if you guys have seen this, it's actually enlarging already. Now this is cool. Like I said, that's why I moved back because I knew it would be kind of hard for you guys to see this. I'm gonna chuck the box side. You guys see this. Now, it's going to take a while to get back in shape because it's been vacuum sealed. But it's a wedge style, guys. Then you lay it on the bed just like this. You have the wedge that will gradually allow you... You should edit this video with, like, the Jaws theme as it's, like, a, with, like, a time lapse of it inflating, like... Literally wash the cover. Now, you guys see? Nice poly memory foam style. Polyethylene memory foam. 
They're very simple, very easy, guys. Great for your legs. I know my wife has actually been needing one of these to help with her feet. So I need one guys. too. I, I need to get one of these. Uh, sports. So thanks for checking out this quick video. And I'm going to show you guys this one more time. As you guys see, it's now coming into complete shape. Guys, let it sit for at least 24 hours. Let it sit for 24 hours to get its shape, and then you guys can use it and don't worry about it. So thanks for checking out this video, guys. And have a great one. <laughs> Hands of clock ticking on the screen with a kid turning into an old lady. <laughs> um, but no, uh, definitely a cool product. Uh, again, uh, a leg elevation pillow with a foam top. Uh, as he said, make sure when you open it, be careful if you're using like a box cutter or a knife that you don't puncture the actual pillow itself. And then once you take it out of the packaging, let it sit for 24 hours and make sure it inflates fully. Um, so it's definitely going to be something to keep in mind. I really wish James would have showed us his beautiful feet and legs on top of the things relaxing, but he didn't, but at least he explained thoroughly how to use the product, uh, to make sure that, you know, you get the best out of the elevation from the, um, the pillow with the foam top. Um, so thank you, James, for covering, uh, that product. That was our last James product for the night. And now we're about to move on to our last Justin product for the night. Also, um, he's going to be covering this Philips Norelco one blade. Um, it's a hybrid electric razor. Um, and he's basically going to show us how it works. I think he does a live demonstration on him using, um, it for himself, but you know, it's really funny for the last product though. It's an Abco. Uh, and I, I, you know, I've the only Abco stuff that I've gotten have been RC stuff. So they're a really versatile company. If they can do pillows and RC, that's a combination that I never thought about. Um, so shout out Abco for that last product, but now we're moving on to the Philips Norelco product. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Oh, just see, I own three of these. Both my kids use them too. This is my favorite trimmer. So if this is this product is Justin approved for sure. Doing a little video demonstration of the Philips Norelco One Blade. I'm gonna shave just half my face with this blade. I love this razor, and I have a few of them in my house. One for me, each of my kids. It effortlessly cuts through hair. You can shave up and down to make quick up and down adjustments. So you cut your shaving and trimming time in half. It's great for shaving your neckline or if you want to trim down your beard or trim around for a goatee. And you can see right, just right here in real time just how fast it cuts and how oh, well wow. it trims the beard hair off my face. And again, it's not normally used for trimming an entire beard. It's normally used for just doing – it's normally used for touch-ups and trimming. Yeah, but I, here I'm just showing you an shaping. example of how you can pretty much shave almost your entire face with it. And it leaves it pretty smooth by itself. So whether it is you need to trim your neckline, whether it needs to trim your arms or legs or whatever, the Philips Norelco One Blade works pretty impressively. And it comes with a bunch of different attachments so you can get different um, hair level adjustments. If you don't want to be slightly right against the skin, you can get it to where you have just a little bit of stubble. So you can see how good a job it did there. <laughs> Now, what you should have done, Justin, is you should have actually done like half, you know, like where you did like literally from the middle of your lip to one side. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> That's what I thought you meant when you said half your face. I was like, oh, this is going to look interesting. But but you cheated. You cheated. That's not fair. <laughs> Doing a good job on his beard. Yeah, he did. He did a really good job uh, trimming it. Um, and it, 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 I mean, like it was smooth like butter. It was really easy. Um, I like the fact that um that it, it went you were able to go up and down um you know you can go both ways uh no need for for foamy shaving cream yeah see i i use a trimmer too i never i, I don't i don't clean shave anymore mostly because i'm trying to i don't know i i look like such a baby when i'm clean shaven it's ridiculous you know what honestly if four people in the chat say nikita shave I will come tomorrow clean shaven on stream. I promise you. And I'm just going to look like a man child. Honestly, it's going to be pretty bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was our last Justin product for the night. Also, the last three products that we're going to close with are products that I've all covered. The first one of the last three products, Babyface Nikita. <laughs> the, uh, the first one of the products that I covered is the Torres Mars Climber. Um, 
it's a clear case with for my iPhone 13. Um, I'm not currently using it right now, so we're going to have to use the video. But I like the fact that it had the little stand on it. That it's just it makes the world's difference um, for a case, especially offering. Um, you know, it offers a good amount of minimal protection. But I'm also able to use it when I want to just watch YouTube. I want to just balance my phone. I use it. Excuse me. I use it a lot because you can use it as a vertical. Um, a vertical thing or a horizontal uh, mount um, and so uh, it's definitely really cool um, it's currently 47% off and James just mentioned that there's a two dollar coupon for it too so make sure you check that out if this is a case that you're interested in I believe they make this case for not only the iPhone 13 base model but I think they might make it for other models too I can check real quick for you guys um, Actually, it looks like this is only a 13 base model product. So if you have a 13 base, um, definitely check this out. But I promise you Torres does, if, if, if it's not this one, they have one similar for the other models too. So you just got to go to their storefront page and make sure you find the one that you're looking for. Hey everyone, so I have my base iPhone 13 here and I just got this new Torres case for it. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it, show you what it comes with, and then put it on my phone and let you know how the, you know, how it, how it reacts with my phone. So as you can see, um, it comes through, it's a, it's a clear case. Um, I like the fact that it has this little stand on it. It's made of metal. I want to see which way you open it. Okay, it's this way. Oh, and it's like, it's, it's very firm. So like it kind of clips. Um, so it's not loose. You don't have to worry about holding your phone and it swinging out at all. Um, it seems like there's a little protective cover over here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off the, the clear case real quick. There's none at the bottom, just up here. I'm uh, going to go ahead and put my phone in there. Go ahead and snap Snaps it in. Snaps in super easy. easy. Um, I like it. Uh, like I said, this, this case, um, it come, the ridges come up. So if you were to drop it on the face um, on a flat surface, it would probably protect your phone. Um, but if there was like a sharp point or an uneven ground, it, it wouldn't necessarily protect the front part of the case. Um, I really like it because it has a stand on it and you know, you can sit it right there um, and watch videos from a distance if that's what you needed it to. Um, the, as far as the buttons go, as you can see, it's changing the volume and stuff. So it's working, it's accessible. The um, speaker and mic and lightning ports as well as the mute button are very easily accessible. You don't have to struggle to get in there and, you know, What's up, James? Oh, wait, there's two James. The power button works really well. Um, Welcome to the chat, James number two. You know, and it still works. I can access my Siri. I can close it, lock my phone. Um, so if you're looking for a nice little clear case that has a stand, um, you know, that's going to make your phone look pretty nice. Um, you know, you can show off the color on the back because it's a clear case. It doesn't change to the color of the case, or it, you know, the case isn't colored. Um, so it doesn't block off. You can show off your cool colors of your iPhone. Um, and so, yeah, if you're looking for a nice little case, this is definitely a Torres case to check out. Oh, hello, Jennifer. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Thank you for stopping by. I'm doing, I feel amazing. How about yourself, Jennifer? Um, but I don't know if you guys could see in that video. Um, I know because I, 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 I made the video, obviously, but I also saw my reflection. In that video, I'm wearing a do-rag. And it makes my head look like a bullet because like it pushes all my hair down and it rounds it out. And <laughs> I, I saw myself in the reflection in that video and I was like, oh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, but we only got two more products left for the night. So before I move on to those, I just want to echo again the current giveaways that we have going on. So again, there's the first one. Um, enter for a chance to win a diamond pendant from Mrs. Dragon Blogger's personal collection. Um, Miss Shona was awesome to uh, give us, uh, give up one of these um, amazing um, pendants uh, on Father's Day. So it's going to be given away uh, June 19th. What's up again, James? Welcome to the stream. Um, and you have to be present to win. So make sure you're there. Uh, when the time comes by, you enter for a chance to win that. For those of the people who can't see the link, uh, it is www.dragonblogger.com slash winpendant. One word, W-I-N-P-E-N-D-A-N-T. Um, yeah, my rebel Afro style. You know what? It was, you should have seen it a couple months ago. I got it trimmed. Um, and I'm, I, I, I miss, I miss, I had more hair. I miss it, but it grows back fast. So it's not like it's going to take that long to get back. Um, the other product that we have too, um, 
to give away, uh, which ends July 2nd, is going to be the Eufy Security Video Doorbell, which is a product that I have. Uh, definitely amazing for upgrading security for your home, and I, I, I live and stand by Eufy products. They're absolutely amazing. They're wonderful, um, and it really does upgrade uh, the security of your home. You enter for a chance to win that at www.dragonblogger.com slash win Eufy. That's W-I-N-E-U-F-Y. And then... The last giveaway that we have uh, going on, which ends a week after that one on July 9th, um, it's going to be a chance to win the Elegoo Neptune 2S 3D printer, which also comes with a two-pack of ceramic 3D filaments so that you can use your 3D printer as soon as you get it. Uh, that Again, that ends on July 9th, and to enter for a chance to win that, it's uh, www.dragonblogger.com slash win 3D printer, one word, W-I-N, the number three, the letter D P R I N T E R. James, can you hear us? This is like the third time you said hi. How you doing, buddy? Can you hear us? Um, but yeah, so that's just the giveaways uh, that we have currently going on. So don't don't forget to enter for a chance to win that. Uh, also, don't forget um, hydrate or dehydrate, everyone. You gotta you gotta follow the shirt. Uh, uh, make sure if you're interested in picking up this shirt, though, you check out the Dragon Blogger merch store. Uh, Justin, I don't have the link to the merch store, but if you could drop that for me, it would be very much appreciated. Um, thank you in advance for that. Um, next up, we have a pro a product that I love. I have crashed this thing, um, many times, uh, into so many stuff and it's super durable. I love it. Um, it's currently 15% off and there's a coupon to save an extra 10% off. Um, so definitely check this out, but this is the SEMA S 39 RC helicopter. Um, don't judge me for my flying. It was my first time. Actually, I don't know if I was the one flying this one or if it was my girlfriend, but we're both terrible when we, when we're first starting out. Now, typically we can get the hang of it, but um, we, we were doing, uh, we were doing quite the number on this one. Um, I really like this product because it does come with like extra pieces and stuff in case you do break it. Um, and SEMA does a really good job with their RC products. Um, so it's definitely one worth checking out. Hey guys, I got another amazing SEMA product for you here today. I absolutely love everything SEMA. They make some wonderful remote controlled vehicles and stuff, regardless of what you want. But out already, it comes with their product. It took me a little bit to get it open, so I'm gonna just skip all that. There we go. It's just nicely. So as you can see, it's really sleek design. It's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be, but you already know it's light from the box. It's got a really nice sleek design, and I love the sort of semi Xbox style controller that it has for it. Um, it looks like it does require batteries. And it yep, it requires like, batteries, and it doesn't come with battery batteries for the actual um, helicopter itself and a screwdriver to access it but it doesn't like the remote control will come with batteries so you will need to pro provide most of the time they require double a batteries mm -hmm. but and this one does require double a batteries when i set everything up and get back to you i will let you know about that so i'm super excited for this test run so i've brought the helicopter outside first you have to make sure that you have the battery plugged in on the side so it's getting power and then you have to actually flip a switch at the bottom to turn it on and once you do, the light will be flashing. Make sure when you set the helicopter down, you put the back of it facing. And of course, you can see me and my girlfriend's Crocs, because we love our Crocs and we love our Croc charms. Being the pilot. And Actually, in any video that I make, if I happen to show like my feet, like you're most likely going to see Crocs. And then you want to turn it on on here too. To sync it up, you throttle up and then down. And then the light on here, once you do that, should stop blinking. So, okay, it's solid now, put it down. And to start it, you just lift on the elevation side, which is the left side. It was so windy this day, the wind kept carrying it. And I was shocked that we didn't break it, but it honestly has, like the frame is a steel frame and it's so durable. Basically, the left side is for elevation, up or down, higher or lower. The right side is for direction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I recovered the 
uh, helicopter. I probably should have given my girlfriend some time to practice with it before just <laughs> throwing her out to make this video. But as I was saying, this is the button that basically controls the uh, altitude, higher or lower. This is what turns it. This rotates it clockwise, this rotates it counterclockwise, and this button uh, is what uses to go faster speeds or slower speeds. So if you wanna just start the plane itself, all you have to do is tilt up on this, and then it'll start spinning and it'll prime and it'll get to a certain speed. And if you don't do anything else, then it'll just simply cut off. So you know it's not just sitting there running, but we're gonna give it a trial test number two just to kind of show you it flying around and everything. And then you can decide if this is something that you wanna pick up. <laughs> well, it worked for a little bit. So admittedly, it's going to take a little bit to get used to, but it's super fun. It's actually super durable. You guys saw it crash those two times, the second time against a rock, which was kind of unfortunate, but no damage was sustained, no scratches on it. So it is durable, though it's super light and the frame is really strong for it. Um, it's probably better for a more advanced flyer than I am, but this is definitely worth checking out. Just remember that uh, though the helicopter itself is rechargeable, this does take for AA batteries, so you're gonna make sure you have to have those on hand. But if you're looking for a nice RC helicopter, definitely check out this SEMA model. This is the SEMA S39. I absolutely love that thing. I still have it and it's just, it's an amazing, I haven't got any better. Like I'm no better than my girlfriend. I can't even make fun of her. Like she, she, she's probably better than I am if that gives you any idea of, of how that goes. So, um, but again, SEMA did a wonderful job on their, they, they do a wonderful job on all of their RC products. I They're one of my favorite brands, and I love it when they send me RC stuff, and I'm always happy to cover a SEMA product. Actually, I have one right now that I haven't done a video yet for um, that I'm getting ready to, and I absolutely love SEMA products. They're absolutely amazing, um, and it's just really cool. This next one that I'm going to show you is a hovercraft. Um, which I actually do enjoy. And the thing about this one is I, I, I show it in the water, but it also works on grass and stuff too. It's a hovercraft. Um, it's the Q11 and it's absolutely amazing. I love, like, like I said, anything that's SEMA, I love because I love RC stuff. And I'm so thankful that they send me all these wonderful products and it's just, this is our last products and I'm glad it's one that we get to end on. So I'm going to pull that video up and this is going to be our last product for the evening. I, 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 it's just, it's amazing how fast time flies when I'm just sitting here running my mouth in front of all of y'all. <laughs> so, so I just unboxed my Zima Hovercraft and I'm super excited about this. This is the box for it and it's promoted to go over not only land and water, but also ice surfaces. So I'm super excited about it. I'm about to take it up. Yeah, too bad I live in Texas, so there's no ice surfaces here. Go to my pool real quick to just run it and see how it performs. But this is the actual hovercraft itself. This is the charger for the battery. This is the battery itself. And this is the remote control for it. Now it also does come with a nice little screwdriver that you're gonna have to use at the bottom to unscrew it and put batteries in it. It takes two double A's and then you're good to go. So I'm gonna take this out and test it and let y'all know what I think. So I have the hovercraft here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. You have to hold this button here for a little bit and then it's good to go. You can just drop it in the water, make sure that your remote is also on. You'll see the green light and then you can start going. If you wanna back it up, you just pull the trigger up and then once you wanna go forward, you, Throw it in you reverse, the Terry. and you can turn the knob to direct it whichever way you wanna go. And this thing will just get to going. Now you can use it on other surfaces besides just water, but I felt like water did this one just so much more justice. And it's just, it's just so fun to just get going around and stuff. And as you can see, it has no problems functioning no matter which way you turn it. I can even make it spin around. I absolutely love this thing and it's definitely fun for all ages. So if you're looking for a nice land, ice and water vehicle that's remote control, this is definitely going to be one that you should check out. I absolutely love that little hovercraft thing. It's so amazing. It's so great. Uh, SEMA did a great job on, on it, and they do a great job on all their products. Um, but speaking of products, that was our last one for the evening. Uh, thank y'all all so much for being here. Uh, just one more time before I head out, since I got a couple of minutes, I just want to reiterate those last little giveaways. So again, 
Um, don't forget that on Father's Day, June 19th, Juneteenth, actually, um, Mrs. Dragon Blogger is going to be giving away a diamond pendant from her own personal collection, and you got to be present to win, so make sure you're there on the 19th. Uh, you enter for a chance to win at www.dragonblogger.com slash winpendant, one word, W-I-N-P-E-N-D-A-N-T. Um, and that, again, is for the Diamond Pendant ends on Father's Day. Um, the second giveaway that we are doing that ends July 2nd, um, July, not June. Well, June 2nd's already passed, so I guess you guys knew that. But July 2nd, it's for a Eufy Security video doorbell. Again, uh, this is a product that I've had and I've done a video for. Absolutely amazing. Anything Eufy Security is absolutely amazing. It's going to upgrade the security of your home. Um, and it's just definitely worth checking out. Um, even if you're, even if you're, if you don't know anything about Eufy, definitely worth entering uh, for a chance to win because I promise you, if you get it, you will enjoy it. That's at www.dragonblogger.com slash win Eufy, one word, W-I-N-E-U-F-Y. And then of course, the last one um, that ends a week after the Eufy giveaway on July 9th um, is a chance to win the Elegoo Neptune 2S 3D printer with a two pack of ceramic 3D filaments. So once you get your 3D printer, you're good. You have the filament to use it. You can 3D print something cool. Um, you enter for a chance to win that at www.dragonblogger.com slash win 3D printer. One word, W-I-N, the number three, the letter D, P-R-I-N-T-E-R. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to the Monday Night Show with Nikita, your host with the most but no toast. Um, and don't forget, like I said, uh, I will be doing Monday and Tuesday nights from now on, no longer doing Tuesday, Thursday. So if you want to come by and say hi, uh, make sure you come by then at 6 Pacific, 8 Central, or 9 EST, depending on what time zone you're in. But until next time, I will catch you all later. Peace out, Girl Scouts, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Monday night.